Oh my goodness, it has been ages since we played Kingdoms and Castles. It's been over seven months, and I said the next time I would play it is when they added the AI factions. Artificially, artificially intelligent other kingdoms with their own castles that we can lay siege to. Well, it is available in alpha testing right now. So there may be bugs and things like that, but that's fine. I've been waiting ages for this. All right, so earlier I was saying, I'm gonna show you kind of how to do it, but essentially what you need to do is go into properties, then you pull up beta, you come in here, and for check code, alpha tester one, two, three, and check code, and then that'll give you the alpha unstable alpha build. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna start up a new map. We're gonna choose summer, because you know what? We're gonna have to, uh, Rivervale? Pfft. Postopia, bruh. We're gonna need to find a good map with multiple island chains. This kind of looks sort of like England. If England was a weird motorcycle ramp with fish on it. Ooh, this one looks really, really good. So this would be kind of funny to use. What I like about this is we could essentially just put a poor little kingdom in purgatory over here and they only have dominion over this. Now they could in theory take over and colonize other islands, but they have a very small starting space and very few starting resources. So that's kind of what I'm going for right here is a number of different island chains. Preferably one that's so overpowered that I can be on. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go with this one. Oh my God, the AI kingdom is Google. I can smell something fishy, <laughs> something fishy going on. Easy once you know how, Google, you get this island right here. You're gonna be off on your lonesome. You're kind of like a derpy looking Florida. Then we're gonna add a peaceful kingdom, which is Mikey's world. They always walk into the house with their shoes off. I, I'm not sure what this is all about, but you're gonna be relegated over here. And the idea is I'm gonna put myself on this giant island chain of three islands and then try to colonize the other islands before the AI empires do. So here we go, check it out. They've got iron and stone and I like this how it pops up, right? And so the one trade off here, I guess, is that like you only have access to stone on your main island. We probably could bridge over it here. A lot of stone and some iron over there as well. And you'll notice that we've got a new resource. Them be fishes in that ocean. And look in the upper right, we've got a mini map. Can I move it? Oh my God, I can move it anywhere I want. Build your keep near fertile land, trees, and stone. Well, I think that would be right here. As per usual, we gotta plant, plant ourselves a castle. So I'm thinking right here is pretty good. I guess it could be better. And it's been so long, but essentially what we gotta do is we gotta put some roads down and then put a house or two. Now we'll go ahead and press play here and then we gotta chop up some trees. Now this is some nice ground that we can use. And our castle is gonna materialize and to come into existence. But here's the caveat. Right now, we cannot see anything going on on the other islands. There is a fog of war. We can't even build a giant tower and a telescope. What we're gonna need to do is use one of the other new features, an exploration ship. That's gonna be the objective for this episode. Now, Kingdoms and Castles is finally back. I, a lot of people have been asking for this. So if you wanna see more, you wanna see another episode, or you wanna see a series, you know what to do. And without further ado, let the race for the Empire commence. Here's our little blocky voxeloid people building roads, building houses. We gotta give a house for everybody here. And then shortly thereafter, we need to start planting some food. We've got some really nice farmland over here. And I'm thinking right here is gonna extend into a bridge that so we're gonna try to get over there. There's a lot of really cool new things and can we build a bridge? Oh my God, we can, that's fantastic. So I can just bridge all the way over here and then I can get access to iron. The issue though, we got some wolves protecting it. Yeah, so there's a lot more on the line. Not only are there gonna be Vikings and random dragon attacks, but the AI rival empires are finally in the game, man. It's, this is just so crazy. I've followed this game for years. Let's go job priority builders are first, then stockpile, then timber workers. That seems pretty good. And if we want to speed it up, we can just use the number keys. That's fantastic. So it's winter time. We need to get our first bit of food going. So I'm thinking an orchard right here. Oh God, somebody was killed by wolves. The Miggler. <laughs> Who is named the Miggler? Four people visited, but only one found a satisfactory home, my lord. All right, fine. We'll get another satisfactory home for you. Wow, it's already year five. In the year of our toast, it is the number five. 
send a transport ship over to investigate. Well, we already know there's an AI because we put them over there. But we've got a, the making of what could be a pretty cool harbor. All right, finally, I can get ourselves a forester and put him right in here. That way we'll produce some wood. Yeah, a lot of people are getting killed by wolves. That is a... <laughs> you'd call that a problem. Dragon sighted? Oh my god, this already happening? Wait a minute, he's getting shot at. He was getting shot at by the rival empire. I forgot that the dragon might not just attack me, he might actually attack some of the rival empires in the game. Now he's a little baby dragon. Hey, and we're a small village, uh, but dragon could easily eat everybody in this town if he so wanted to. Okay, our castle is a little bit defensive. That's pretty good. That's that's definitely a new change. So the dragon's just scouting. It's gonna be like, I'm gonna go let mommy and daddy know where we sneak a bird. And now that we have access over here, I'm thinking what we do. I want to put a, a wood carver over here. But look at this. We've already got our little London bridge. Now there are some pretty cool things you can do. You can make draw bridges and stone bridges and a sea gate. What? I'm gonna wall off the sea. Bruh. That way enemy ships can't get in. That would be freaking awesome. The next dragon attack is in 14 years. Can you imagine the sort of like existential doom you would experience if you're like, oh, I know the future and there's a dragon coming. He's going to eat me cousin. Maybe he's going to eat you. I don't know, man. I'd be kind of scared to know that. And before we start taxing the people, we need a better level of happiness. So time to get some charcoal. We'll put it over here because it gets really smelly. And we'll put a giant granary like right in the middle of our entire agricultural district. It's not really that well planned out yet. Trying to plan for the future here because I want to make a little grid and put some windmills here. Our city is full. We need more homes. What, what I want to get is some cottages. These are like tier two homes. And once that's completed, we'll wreck some of the old ones. Yields tax revenue. And it's a little more efficient. Like it, it's a one by two grid and it... Tr houses 12 people whereas these two are just five each so it's not as efficient per space wow three years has gone by man i'm not ready for this next dragon attack okay what we're gonna need to do is go here we're gonna need to tax the people so we can build one archer tower or better yet a ballista castle stairs archer school siege workshop there is so much new stuff under the military oh my god everything is new it's all new all right so in order to levy taxes we need to build a treasure room huh a lot of stone is needed for that life is good in toastopia just wait till i bring in this thing called taxes you guys i don't know how many people are gonna like that all right the treasure room is ready to go in Put it right there. We'll build that and then we can increase taxes. Be careful not to place too many fishing huts in one area and overfish. Oh my gosh, we gotta worry about the environment? <laughs> well, look at that. All right, I'm gonna build a, a tower here for a ballista. We're gonna build it bigger than this. What's cool is you can basically stack. I guess we could use a wooden tower. We'll use a wooden tower as a placeholder, but they have a limit on how big they can get. Advanced town, oh my God. There's ousting arena and theater. These are both new. I remember when the bathhouse, the great library, and the cathedral came into the game. But look how expensive these things are. I mean, the great library is 550 freaking gold, mate. All right, time to get ourselves a fishing hut. And we're going to put it right there. Looks good. All right, the wall looks mostly done. And a ballista tower does require... So let's start taxing at a 5% tax rate. But look at how happiness... Oh, they want a tavern. Okay, we, we, we can do that. We can easily do that with more stone. I think we're going to want more houses. Yeah, but I feel like once that comes in, we'll get a tavern and we'll have some fish and pork and health will go up. And then by giving them beer too. I mean, if you have fish, bread and apples in beer, what else do you really need in life? Okay, this is on fire. And somebody was killed by wolves. Probably one of these woodcutters. Every now and then the, the wolves are like, Hey, you look nice and tasty. I'm going to bite your leg. No, you don't. And that's how it happens. Oh God, dragons is coming. And I've only got three gold and I need 25. <laughs> oh no. Is this taxed annually or per quarter? How are we doing this guys? Okay, we need a tavern and I'll put it right here. That way we should actually be able to tax a little bit more. So we got the fish. So health is going up to get a fishmonger, which processes this stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait till after this dragon attack. 
We need at least one ballista. When we get like we got five gold. Tax rate's gone up. Fifteen percent per annum. Year twenty. We don't know what our neighbors are doing. I hope they're not making my empire look pathetic. Don't worry, we will get that exploration ship. All right, we got the time. I could build the permanent stone tower. Oh my god, it requires a chamber of war too. <gasps> no! Taxes might go up. We got two years. Oh god. This is what you call not very good. Yeah, this dragon's gonna attack in one year. And we do not have a chamber of war. We can build an archer tower, but I, I think a ballista would be better. 50 gold is 50. That'd be 50. 75 total gold versus 20. You know what? We'll go with the archer tower. We'll put it on the temporary wooden one. We'll keep the stone one for our ballista one. Dragons be coming. All right, yeah, the dragon attack is basically gonna be here at any moment. Bruh. But we've manned the parapets. Let's actually... Archers, we'll put them at the top. And when we're not under war, we'll just, like, close the buildings. The dragon's been sighted. Is it a big one or a little one? Oh, it's just a little one. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, maybe we were a little bit overly worried about that. As long as it doesn't destroy my treasury room. And I think we're gonna need a bigger stockpile. We're gonna have the central stockpile. All right, where is this guy? Oh, they have a... F what is this? They have a freaking boat? The AI has a boat. And it's got a knight on it? What? A foreign envoy is en route? Uh, <laughs> these people have diplomacy. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do we... How do we do that? I need this diplomacy thing. Where is it? Hall of diplomacy? I need 65 stone. Guys, we don't even have enough stones. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. They're getting attacked by a dragon. They're like, no, no big deal. We're gonna send our emissary over there. So this island's uncharted. This one's taken. Look at that. Look how regal. They've got a little olive branch. I think they're the peaceful faction. They have the big island. I think Google over here is mean. Or rather, they could be hostile. I do like how there's diplomacy in there, right? Like, you don't have to fight necessarily. Hey, you wanna, you, you could dock at my fishing, fishmonger village. That's about all we got. Okay, the next dragon attack is 14 years. Now we should be in a much better position. We're gonna build a windmill. We're gonna surround that windmill with farms in a nice little three by three minus one grid. <laughs> You're like, hey, you don't even have pigs. You're the swine. Well, you better not run over my bridge, dude. Or I will ra I will bury you in dead pigs. I'm gonna build a giant trebuchet. Ooh. Should kingdoms and castles have, like, super weapons <laughs> like a giant trebuchet? Trebuchets would actually be really cool. All right. He's like, oh, how petty is your apple orchards? Hello, sir. We have a message from our ruler. Yes. Go on. Ugh, not interested. Leave me. I'm so... Oh, it's Queen Poro. Ah, oh, you're from a neighboring kingdom. A peaceful kingdom, we hope. Indeed, we should have much to talk about. Yes. Oh, look. Oh, my God. We're, we're, we're having dialogue here. We thank your highness for her time. Yes. Oh, my God. That's really cool. Now they're probably going to go meet the other one. And they're probably going to be like, oh, yeah, the blue people, they stink. And they're really, really ripe for invasion. So go kill them. All right. Now that we've got the that coming in, we're going to get some big old houses. And are we ready to put down a chamber of war? Or did I just spend all of my gold? Yeah, I think we could drop this to like maybe 15% to get our happiness up. Oh, wow. Happiness up to like, yeah, we're going to drop it to 10% during non-military times. We have a huge stockpile here and a little baby one over here. Probably want a well. Keep things from burning down. Yeah, well, well 15 percent. 20 20 percent sounds good. Ooh, allows foreign merchant ships. We need a, uh, a discovery ship first. So that's 75 gold. I do want a bakery. I think that'll greatly increase our food. Where would another good fishing hut be? Probably over here. A foreign envoy is en route again? What are you- Mikey, what are you doing, man? They have fishing ships. I guess so do we. We had them before them, you know? Uh, it's gotta stand for something. What's the foreign envoy gonna say? I'm thinking what we do is we have our little access port right here. We'll create a giant dock right here, and then we'll put a tower here and a tower here. And then I'm thinking we create a sea gate over on this side with some big towers, obviously, to defend. I love how on the mini-map you can see the envoy. He's taking his time. A small market. Ah, small market could go over here. Oh, so here's a big thing. Do we build the diplomatic relations building or do we do a chamber of war? 
And where do we put our barracks in our military? How about right over here? All right, that foreign envoy is almost here again. Oh, God, I, I didn't know if they had something else. Okay, we have a message from our ruler. Yes. I was just looking up at the sky. So blue, so beautiful. I wish sometimes I could fly. Oh, my God, we're going to conquer you, aren't we? I heard of a man who made wings out of vulture feathers. Wait, are they talking about... I think he was missing a key insight. What could it have been? He had bird wings, but no bird tail. Oh, okay, yeah, you're, you're, that's got to be it. Yeah, let's find that guy making bird wings. But by me listening, my relations with them are going up. So that's good. I don't think they're going to declare war on me, but, you know, listening to them talk about birds, fine. Whatever. All right, so we have this. Can I build hazard pay? <laughs> that's cool. Now I need a barracks. So, oh my God, that's 45 gold. Jeez, guys. How am I ever supposed to get ahead in this game? Happiness is low because our people want a church or a library. Dang, that's expensive. 85 stones. Oh, we actually have an envoy coming in from the other kingdom. We can see a flagpole. Uh, I don't know if that's a bug or, or remember we are playing alpha. So it's very possible. It is a bug. I really need this church. All right, where do we put it? Probably centrally. Probably it's gonna take a while to build that thing. How close are we to our exploration ship? We've had to use gold on keeping our people happy. Okay, here's the blue ship. We got a little alpha graphics thing. Don't worry about it. Okay, but it's still interactable. King de Genus. That rhymes with We have a new message. Oh, wow, you look like a grumpy dude. Indeed, we have much to talk about. We're gonna be very good friends. Until I invade you. Ha 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 ha! But not yet. I do want a library, but I need a barracks. Maybe right now, like, they're sending another foreign envoy. Like, I, what are they going to talk about? <laughs> oh, here they are again. What is Queen Poro, Poro going to talk about today? Oh, we're in need of some resources. We'd like to build a library. Could you help us? Uh, what are you going to ask for? Deliver gift of 15 wood, 30 stone, and 75 gold in 10 years time. Wow, things moved real slowly back then. Okay, well, as long as we do that, you'll have good relations. Maybe if we don't, it won't matter because you're peaceful. Now the blue people are coming. What if they're like, hey, oh God, Vikings. Okay, <gasps> okay, there's a Viking ship going to each of us. I'm assuming. I'm assuming they'll eventually come over here. I really want this barracks. Oh my God, I can just now afford it. These will be the mustering grounds. And you know, I love me some mustard. And I think while this is happening, archers to your posts. They're getting shot at. Their castle must be right here. Otherwise, they have a tower. Oh, they have a they have a decent amount of defenses. Now, what's going on over here? Nothing yet. And this one, I think, this one might be the one. No, this one. One of them might be meant for me. I'm not sure. It would be cool. Okay, these guys are actually gonna come. They're getting close. I don't know who it is. I'm assuming one of them's coming. Maybe the Vikings are just scouting. Oh, they've landed. We might get lucky. Wolves, attack them. Bite them. Dang it. Oh, no, the wolves aren't going to do anything. Oh, we, we, we got a... Hello. King the genius. Yes, go on. I was just touring our blacksmiths. Okay. Agreed. Yeah, I definitely believe everything you believe. We shall make powerful allies until one of us decides to... To realize your island is really, really small and you should probably do something about that. Okay. Can I build a swordman squad? Oh my god, we need so much in order to do that. I think it might be just easier to... Oh wow! One archer tower wiped out that viking squad. Thank goodness. That could have really messed things up. I'm thinking maybe the best thing to deal with these guys is actually to build just an archer tower. A simple archer tower in range and to shoot them that way. That'll be what I'm gonna try. Fish from... We, we get like almost no fish. Even though five people are working that thing, has no tools. Oh my god, we need tools. Okay, the only way we're gonna get tools is if we conquer this island over here. So, we'll build an archer tower. Ooh, 20 gold. Yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. Towers to kill wolves. All right, the archer tower's done. Oh, here's a freaking envoy. Dragon's coming in four years. Look at this, killing all the wolves this way. Oh, that's fantastic. I hope they don't come back. All right, what do you want? Whoa, it looks like it's carrying stuff on his horse, treasure chest. Oh my God, they're giving me a gift. Gold, stone, wood, tools. Thank you so much. 
<laughs> it's like, hey, could you send us these resources so we can build a library? I'm like, yeah, I'll do that in 10 years. And I'm like, great. Here's stuff we asked for. <laughs> Where's he going? He he's going to tour our facilities, I guess. Hi, don't leave without me. <laughs> we are a burgeoning town. All due to my amazing leadership and talking my neighbors into giving me something. Vikings caused some damage during the last raid. Could you lend us some troops? I'm afraid we can't help, man. Yeah, dude, like, I, I don't even have any soldiers at all, much less soldiers for you. For the likes of you. Oh, wow, I like how the castle gets bigger as we go, too. Now it's got three towers, I think? But now I'm getting access over here to the iron. We're gonna move most of our industry to this island. That way we can open up this area to chop down these trees and expand houses and infrastructure. But it is finally time to build a transport ship in our harbor. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Not a transport ship. An exploration ship. We'll build it right here. Oh, that is so cool. We're gonna get to see what the other people got. Hopefully it doesn't embarrass us. <laughs> all right, now with this one, we'll kill these two wolf burrows. Yes. Kill all of the bad wolves, since we can't tame them to be our war dogs, unfortunately. And the next dragon attack is coming, so maybe a ballista. 25 gold for that. We should be able to do that in three years. All right, it's time. The exploration ship is ready. So first, we need to move our mini-map and go explore this island. Oh, we got the uh, diplomat guy. I had the most delicious fish dinner. Our people love fish too, you got any? Do you got any? The favorite food of our kingdom is bread. <laughs> and that's it. I guess this is how you communicate. We don't have cellular phones or things like email and my spaces. You know what I mean? We don't got none of that. Can I build an iron mine? I can. Oh, the dragon sighted. Luckily, we did plan for this. Now we just gotta make sure the jobs are prioritized appropriately. Ballista operators at the top. Man your stations, a dragon is here. Is it a big one? Oh, it's still a baby one. But don't worry, if it decides to try to light us on fire, we're gonna shoot him. And I moved a lot of woodworking over here. We're gonna have three woodcutter places and maybe another one or two over here. This is gonna be the industrial sector of our entire kingdom. It is just a little bit far. Oh my god, that lightning bolt got really close. Okay, the dragon's actually over here. He's getting shot. I'm seeing no ballistas. Whoa, what's this present? Oh, that's probably where I have to deliver to. Oh man, that poor baby dragon. I wish I could train dragons, or like when you killed them, you could like learn some ancient technology. He's like, nope, you got a ballista, I'm out. Okay, let's get all 10 of those people back to work. So here's our, oh God. Oh look, it says the people are hungry. We can sort of see what's going on here. Let's do a little three speed. Oh man, they got a, a jammed up over here. They got some stone roads. This is really cool. So it's very interesting to see how the AI is creating their kingdom. All right, I think we're getting close. Their castle's probably like right in there. Oh, there's, they have a lot of ships. They have quite the Navy. Oh, this is so cool. Now, I guess I would have to get a diplomat. Oh man, they have quite the, this is a drawbridge. I don't know, wow. Oh, there's, is what is this? Is that a university? They got education over there? Bruh. We ain't got no education over here. Stupid. This is absolutely incredible. The fact that they have AI empires and kingdoms and castles now. Before it was just like the threats of Vikings and dragons, and it did get kind of not as exciting after a while. But now, oh my God, look at that. Let's get in here. They're, dang, they have, they have a huge kingdom. How many people do they got? So, if you guys do want to see more, we've got another kingdom to explore and so much to expand to. But kingdoms and castles could be back if you wanted to be. So, thank you for watching another episode. Make sure to pull the trigger if you do want to see more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.